Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 16 of turning one penny into $35,000 to pay off my house. Let's go. Oh, you've I got the internet going nuts. So what's up guys? So I'm dropping this video a little bit earlier in my schedule because I will be at SneakerCon Dallas this weekend. A lot of people have been asking when items are dropping on the website. I've been stocking up a ton of items from this series where I've been trying to turn one penny in the thrift store into paying off my crib. So a ton of the items I've been stacking up for this event. It is two days, Saturday and Sunday this weekend, which is the 16th and 17th or the 15th and 16th, whatever. This weekend is at the Dallas Market Hall. So definitely pull up to SneakerCon if you guys live in the Dallas Fort Worth area. It most assuredly is going down. And I even have like some minor paint stains on my arm because I've been turning all these shoes that I've been grabbing at the bins into planters as well. So guys, we're gonna have exclusive drops, tons of stuff. It's gonna be fun, so bring out the whole family. With that being said, my guys, thank y'all. Everyone who has been watching, smashing the like button. You guys have been going crazy, so please, that is the best way you guys can help me out is just to hit that like button go ahead take some time smash that thing but to catch you guys up on the progress we have made since the last episode has elapsed which was only like four days ago i have sold 78 items for a profit of $1,643.83, plus I made $169.41 off shipping. And when you add that with my savings from the previous episode, which was $26,925.61, we have a grand total of $28,738.85. So we are getting ever closer to the 35K goal. So thank you guys, everyone who does shop on the website, Thrift Heaven Vintage. The link is in the video description. Everything that doesn't sell at Dallas is going to smash, hop, and jump on the site. So just stay tuned. And without further ado, man, let's get to this bread, get to this first thrift, and hopefully, Find some bangers this episode, the Sweet 16. In this game, I got more cheese than Chester Cheetah. Wife beetle, lace snuggle across my torso. Now I'm in the dough like a chocolate chip morsel. All right, guys, we have arrived. The first thrift of the day. We're finally back to where we started the series at the Goodwill Mother Freaking Bins. And it's about time I pull back up. Now that my son, who is three months, is sleeping through the night, I can finally rise early and get to these steals and deals in the bins. All right, guys, we are live in the building, and this is actually really funny. So my friend Matt, yesterday on the phone, bet me that I would not find some baggy Levi silver tabs that he wants to get for his friend. And um, dude, this is the first thing I found. They're literally sitting upside down. I saw the silver tab, bruh. The back action, got the little silver popping. Crazy wear and distressing on them. They got random bleach stains. They're a little bit patinaed with the holes on the kneecaps. A little distressing down, down under, but nothing too crazy. Purple, baggy, swaggy. You already know what time it is. I'm gonna grab these. That's just hilarious. But yeah, we're still waiting for the first rotation to pull up and pull out. There's a huge blank spot, so we'll see what they got. But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep traversing. All right, guys, so the first rotation was all right. I found this Texas embroidered piece, and then these aren't anything vintage or crazy, but I love that camo, get invisible on legs. And then you guys saw the homie Nate came all the way from New Zealand. Just a Damn. Quick spot, just a quick hey, what's your page, bro? Uh, Nate's Rates Vintage on Instagram. Look it up. Yes, sir. So uh, that was crazy. The homie Joe told me he came yesterday, so I was like, I'm going to pull up to the bins because it's wild that someone supports and will come all the way from New Zealand to the local bin, so it's super awesome. So yeah, if you guys need the vintage hookup in New Zealand, hit up your boy. All right, guys. So that's rotation two real quick. Nothing crazy, man. Just the, the JD, Jeffrey Dahmer, orange tab, short shorts. I don't even know if I'm gonna get these. Like, dude, your anaconda might slide out. Let's be real. These are very high cut. Some Omni shades just to rock in the garden. And then Nate Dog chung me the Astros tea. Thank you, brother. We got a little blessing for Junior. Shout out to homie Chris yes, sir, one time. Yes, sir. Sure, IG, bro. Batman Fines, Batman Fines. Yes, sir, but yeah. And the homie right here, both of us. Oh, the cross-contamination yeah. collaboration? 
<laughs> Yo, this is hard though, man. <laughs> Jeff Gordon, it's gonna take a couple years for he can grow into this, but hey, I'm gonna put him in it. Just know that. Oh Lord. All right, guys. We are out of the Goodwill bins. I spent $21, got a good amount of stuff. The best things are the silver tabs and my friend um, making a bet that I would not find a pair today while thrifting. And this is only the first store. He made a $20 bet, L dude. So I spent a dollar on all these items. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Got some all right stuff, nothing crazy, but I was kind of lazy only in there like an hour. But it's time to proceed on to some more thrifts. All right, guys, here we go, man. Next spot, y'all already know, Philly Thrift Center. Okay, guys, so we are in here, man. They brought out new racks. Is there anything crazy on them? Not so much, but I managed to pluck one thing for the low price of $7. You have the men's North Face Summit Series, all zipper pockets, high quality size, large. This is like in a wet sand that's lightly dusted with some moss color scheme. It does have a couple discrepancies, but $7 for a North Face Summit Series? Dude, that is a no brainer. And it already is patina, so you don't feel bad about like hiking through just giant piles of mud. Amazing. All right, dude, next up, man, all embroidered. You have the St. Louis Blues. Young Warts with the SCH on the front of it. Hell yeah, big Schwartz. This thing is like actually signed. It appears someone was going absolutely crazy with the number two pencil on the front. I'm gonna watch this guy see if these little marks come out. It's only $6. So he had a couple of slightly flawed but clean pieces. You have got to be joshing me. Look at this Nike, right? Vintage white tag, big swoosh. Straight off the ski slopes in 2009 size medium wow. right my size but look at the price unbelievably taxed Wait a minute. are you joking me i wish i might personal file tripping hey man think guess jeans guess denim i bet you can't guess what's a venom made in usa it's like an old school kind of like carpenter real blue collar like fit 15 but there is something that is biodegrading on the front of this jacket. It is disgusting, and this may actually be a fraudulent garment. I mean, there is nothing in the buttons that indicate this is authentic. Tripping. Hey, then there we go, man. Y'all know two birds, one bet. As always, $4 flamer, holiday season. <laughs> Let's get it. Here we go again with a two-piece. Another two birds, one bat. But these guys are really trying to tick me off today. Sinner no check as well. $12. No thank you. Then you got the Eddie Bauer. Hold on. Nike all embroidered red jersey. Only 10. That definitely is more um, coppable in terms of not hurting my little wallet. So yeah, I'm going to grab this dude. And I got to leave these two birds to their own little adult activities. Oh, subtle, yet sexy. I'm telling you guys, $5. It took me a year to discover that there were actually words in the feather. That's crazy. I love the war chant. For only five. Yes. All right, despite all the taxing, guys, what is this? Little Nike? Hold on, 13. Trip. Despite all of it, I feel like I did move the wet floor sign. And I caught him slipping. High vent, North Face, 15, two tone. Jeez, this is another size large. My size, my guys, but I already got a couple North Faces stashed. Um, yeah, this is a must acquire. Let's get it. No lie, I moved this jacket and I thought that was a Nike check. Stupid. My mind sees Nike checks when in all reality it's just a thread. Dude, I'm tweaking. Tripping. Okay, guys, it is just a Nike type of day. Wear it, find it. They have like three pairs oh, of these Nike God. tech fleeces, $7. Um, little sweatpants, then the center check, $5 Mizzou. Come on. We're in a giant line, but the final three things, wash you, hockey jersey, all embroidered. You got the Operation Desert Storm pants, and then the Nike, with the nice like varsity patch check, six bucks. There we go, man, out of there. Two giant bags, 85 bucks were dropped. That store started off slow, 
there's like nothing on the new rags but then i just came through and plundered my god um we're blessed today straight up let's get on to yet another store Okay, class, we have entered the Mecca, the family thrift outlet. Everything is two bucks, and this is a prime example of wear it, find it, but even better. Guys, you have the Nike gray tag. Just do it. Primary color scheme made in America. Oh my God. Dude, solo scene, look at the gradient in the letters. Perfect. Classic 90s design, Artex. Hold on, man. All embroidered mac and cheese colorway. Why does this Garfield tag look like the old school bootleg Gucci tees? You know what I mean? Like where the where the letters are like forming a square? Yes. Guys, we got some denim dynamite in the building. Look at this. My dudes, we have the Pendleton vintage vest. Now, I've not worn a denim vest in a minute, but I would make an exception for this guy right here. Nice Pendleton blanket infusion on the back. And this is not no granny crafted, no offense grandma, but this is an official Pendleton piece of merch. Thanks. Oh my lord, dude. More Pendleton in the thrift? You joking me? All knit? This looks like someone spilled nerds on the floorboards of my van. Cute. What the hell is a Desmit? Guys, I love this logo. The Atlanta 1996, super clean, all gold, looking like an Olympic medal. And then you have the Budweiser embroidered as well. Two bangers, two old school, two crispy. What are the odds, dude? I own this shirt, one of my favorite pieces for the fall and winter, at least in Texas, where it doesn't get too, too cold. This thing is definitely icy though. Size large, logo athletic. Scrumptious. Say it ain't so, you got the sour Olivia Rodrigo tea. Now I'm definitely not a fan, not a hater. I'm Olivia agnostic, okay? But if I pull up in the crib rocking this shirt, my girl is gonna absolutely go crazy. This is all type of benefits to the home life, me acquiring this shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do so. Guys, y'all cannot say this is not a thrift fit. Another Texas banger I have to, man. Okay. Easily shirt of the week, shirt of the week, shirt of the month, shirt of the century. Are you kidding me? Baby koala, big koala. Why is it on the kittens brand? It says one size. This basically looks like it fits like a double XL. All sketched out should be koala brand, but whatever. Maybe they do have some some t-shirts, some articles, some garments of clothing encrusted in kittens, okay? But um, yeah, this shirt is just wild. I love a nice marsupial on body fire absolutely unequivocally fire what do you do man when kinky's not here bruh someone got to fulfill the role pulled up a three piece of crew necks indiana hoosiers you got the tommy jeans with a big old h on the back it is ace town tits brazewood baby and of course a thibodeau what thibodeau baseball tigers vintage russell made in usa thibodox what a name. Crew neck, Corey Jester coming through with yellow kicks. Wait. That's why you gotta respect Big Mick. Oh, you got the nasty ass Sherbert Goofy as well. I feel like I saw this piece somewhere. I hate it goofy especially. Why does it have these weird stains? Like, how does that even happen? Oh man, dude. Yeah. This little pirate chick is not helping me with my dopamine detox. I'm about to be triggered and relapsed. Hold on, adult film industry? Stay away from me. Look at this. You got the Bayou County? Look at this. You got some more Louisiana flame. You got the Mardi Gras. This dude looks like Cobra Commander had a baby with Green Goblin and somehow sprouted an onion from his head. Absolutely fire. Vintage. Then you got another one. Mardi Gras, a little muscle car tee. And then you got Faith Hill and Tim McGraw. Oh my God. So dreamy, yo. Faith Hill got no booty. Facts. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I cannot be trifled with today. San Francisco 49ers, big starter, subtle. Let's turn it up. 1980 Phantom of the Opera XL and then oh my white tag oh my white tag and embroidered and screen printed and embroidered hold up guys peep it made in USA Nike size large gorgeous fine wine and you got a little Iron Maiden nothing too wild but oh my god brand loyal soccer fan Oh, hold up. Oh, wait, never mind. They got the Man U Nike. This is actually clean. 2003. Then the freaking Kansas City Wizards? Promo tee? 
What y'all know about that old school MLS? What? Dude, I'm having a quarrel with these pieces, man. Y2K, 2000s, no, the world did not end. This is actually 99, this one is 2000, presented by Foot Locker. You have the Disney World Marathon. But where is Goofy? Is he on the back? No, it is just Ronald McDonald's hand. You've gotta be kidding me, dude. I feel bamboozled, I feel shortchanged. But nevertheless, I'm gonna grab it. Sports enthusiast benefiting. I'm a sports enthusiast. Hey, I take a big gulp for this. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Guys, for real though, the 7-Eleven merch, the 7-Eleven merch went nuts in the 90s. How could I not? Guys, I promise, I find crewnecks by the trees, oh, world yeah. industries, old school crewneck, saucing like a Miami Dolphin, and then mesh on the neck? Are you kidding me? Green Bay Packers, dude, let the armpits breathe. Ventilation is key, except none of the sweat really is escaping. Whatever, man, that one little pit faucet definitely is working overtime. Need them. Again, guys, wear it, find it. Swoosh Nation. What? Y2K? Nice. You got the Nike Athletics engineered for modern athletes, even though this is a 90s piece, still relevant. Then you have the Essential Embroidery. And what the hell is this guy doing? See, this is why I thought that other garment was a Nike piece. True. Because these threads just have a mind of their own. Made in Mex. All right, guys, so we're out the family thrift, man. Hold on, I need to contain the locks, dude. I need to contain the locks. Um, we got 40 pieces. Are you joking me, man? Just spending money, there are birds flocking behind me. We're gonna see what else the day behold it, though. This is what I'm saying, man. Houston is the crew net capital of the nation, bruh. Pittsburgh Steelers, no business being on this side of town, but hey. You got it out here, bruh. You guys, tell me if I'm tweaking. I seriously thought these were butterflies. They are pigs with nose piercings, headphones, and sunglasses. Stupid. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely tweaking. But yeah, the white tee department is smacking. You got the big Ferguson racing. Oh, big Petty. Dude, the Cheerios car. Nuts. And then you have the whole gang. St. Louis Rams caricature tee. Pro Playa. Oh my God. I wonder if there's a brand called Pro Ho. Sorry. Hold on, guys. We are doubling down on the lowered cholesterol. Big Cheerios. Hey, then you got the Sing Unto the Lord single stitch. Praise Allah. Oh, they got the heat, man. Corporal Punishment or White Water Rapids Racing? I think I messed that up. Whatever, dude. Get spanked. Paddle or die. Double-sided. Y'all know. I'm excited. White River Rapids. There it is. Look at that triple-A tag. Guys, tool banty. The ice says it all. Nice little sleeve hit, and then a contemplative purchase, the big Rose Bowl Badgers. We'll see, champion. Okay, this is a bit of an upgrade. It also is that champion, but you have an animal, a badger to be exact. Rocking a sweater, Sweat. big C on the sleeve, and a little script on the back. Dude, then backdoor it with another one, another big one. Toltex. I see all this money through my Ohio State Buckeyes. Oh my lord, straight to the personal collection. Y'all know what time it is, Richmond, Roosters, Russell, made in USA. This looks like it has never been worn. I will put cock on chest. Wait, what? Hold on. What? Rooster on body. Come on, man. I like getting in touch with the animals. Wait, not like that. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Wait a second. Is this guy in incognito mode? Out of freaking concussion protocol. This dude is rocking a Browns helmet, even though it's a Bengals tee. True. I don't know, I'm confused, but I ain't tripping, I ain't mad. You also got the hard cock Rafe. Vegas. So we are ending pretty much with the theme of the day. Wear it, find it. Nike boys, you got a 2000s essential heather gray hoodie. Dude, look at that nice little silver tag all up on it. Very clean. And then you have the Reebok piece. Thug it in my Reebok. This isn't really the theme of the day. I'm not rocking any Reebok at all. Not even on my draws because I'm not wearing any. Why? There's fish netting in these shorts. So, free balling. I'm Free balling. Good God, we are back, my guys. Hopefully y'all did enjoy this episode. As a reminder, everything from this episode is going to be first dibs for the people that come to the pop-up at SneakerCon in Dallas, Texas 
this weekend so definitely be there or be square it most assuredly is going down there's going to be a ton of vendors a ton of sneakers but i guarantee you i'm going to have the best prices and the best selection of clothing in that entire place just know and believe that so anyways thank you guys once again if obviously y'all don't live in dallas just go ahead and smash the like button and stay tuned to thrift have advantage because i am saying we're gonna have a ton of drops from now until Christmas for everyone to get in all their gift giving and all their personal collection cops. So again, thank you guys so much for the support. Smash the like button on the way out. It helps the algorithm. So yes, all y'all who still are watching haven't done that, do that. And until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get